Hey guys, welcome back to Rule the World. Now, last episode, we built this pretty cool mushroom grotto. It was, it, it was great, it looks cool. We decorated it, and I, I was really happy with the build. But there was one problem with it. It doesn't grow small mushrooms. Now, when you look inside the slit, you can see there's a bunch of small mushrooms, and the farm doesn't actually chop those down. What it tries to do is grow big mushrooms, the kind you get in like a mushroom biome, or the kind you get, you can see on the left here, when you bone meal small mushrooms. So I had to make the whole grotto bigger so that we could actually grow big mushrooms and farm them properly. Also, what I'm going to be doing this episode is fixing some of the remaining farms and quarry and dig sites by upgrading them. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in a sec, because I've been reading your comments. And as always, thanks for telling me little bits and bobs about the mods that I might not have seen or noticed on my first pass. Right, so let's jump in game and get going. All right, so let's take a closer look at the mushroom grotto and I'll show you what I mean. Because you see inside here, we've got all these small mushrooms that, the, that the, the farmers put down, but it doesn't actually dig mushrooms until a big one grows. And that slowly happens over time. As you can see, we've only got 18 mushrooms in here that we farmed so far. So what it might come to pass is that we might have to come by here and bone mill mushrooms every now and again. But this definitely works, and over time we will grind up some mushrooms. But the problem is, it takes us so long to get mushrooms compared to everything else, I might have to upgrade that mushroom grotto with a chunk loader. And what a chunk loader will do is it'll kind of work over time. It'll keep the, it'll keep the, uh, the grotto loaded while I'm logged out so that I can get mushrooms while I'm sleeping. So let's get rid of the mushroom farm sign, and now, oh yeah, there's just a few things left on my to-do list. The tavern and a bard, that'll have to come pretty soon. Really excited about building that. The town walls and a castle. Let's build them. I'm a bit nervous about my town walls though, because when you build a wall around your town or your village or whatever, you instantly say, all right, that's about as big as I'm gonna make it. Especially if you put a lot of detail into the walls. If you make really, really kind of fancy walls, you're not going to want to break them. And when you do break them, it's going to kind of be a, a big hassle. So you want to build town, town walls right at the end of your build when you're happy with how big it is. All right, let's check on the wood. Oh, yeah, loads of wood in here. Holy crap, we're never going to run out of that. And I think we've probably got loads of cobble as well. Yeah, lots of cobblestone. A little bit of gravel. I've been using that on the, uh, on the road, so we've run out of that. Some andesite. Wow, 6,000 ink. So we've got 21,000 bits of bobs in here of 47,000. Wow, 432 wool. How much leather have we got? Is there leather in here? I love leather. Leather is such a rare kind of... 461 leather. You know what, guys? We're not going to just augment our dig sites and stuff this episode. We're also going to augment some of our NPCs. I'm going to see what I can do with leather because I think what I, what I feel like doing is uh, is making my, my NPC some clothes. So I'm just going to get some leather out and I'm going to make them some nice fancy leather clothes. But not only that, I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to fix Honeydew's hole. Because like I said before, Simon isn't digging these special blocks here. And I used to think it was because they were from mods that uh, Ancient Warfare didn't recognize. But now I know exactly what the problem is. Right, so when you take a look here, there's a couple of things that we haven't covered yet. That's these books which is lightly enchanted tools and highly enchanted tools. And it's these little things here, which are basic, intermediate, and advanced tool quality upgrades. And what these do is these upgrade the tools used at the site. So if we put an upgrade on, on, on any of these, on the farm, on the, on the crop farm, on the cattle farm, on the sheep farm, on the log farm, even on the mushroom grotto, and especially on the quarry, what it'll do is it'll increase the speed and efficiency of that site. So we're gonna go up here and find out how you make these things. Now I've done the research for both the highly enchanted tools upgrade and the tool and, and the, uh, the quality upgrade. So let's see how they're made. Wow, we're gonna need a lot of diamonds, some obsidian, and some steel if we want to make an advanced tool quality upgrade, but I definitely want to use that for my quarry. And if we want to make a highly enchanted tools upgrade, we need enchanted books. Wow. Now, does it have to be, does it have to have fortune too? I'm not sure, but we also need three iron ingots. Wow. Well, we've got the leather and we've got the paper for books, but I'm not sure we have the diamonds for the, uh, for the special tools. Let's check our, um, let's check our warehouse for diamonds. 
I'm not sure we have any. In fact, I don't see any at all. No, wait, well, hang on a sec. I did put a whole bunch of precious gems and metals over by the, the foundry over at the blacksmith. So let's see if this dude's got any diamonds knocking around. Now, we don't actually have a blacksmith person. It's just us, really, isn't it? Uh, no, I don't... Ah, oh, damn it! I don't see any diamonds. So what we might have to do is we might have to go for intermediate tool quality upgrade. Oh, no, even that requires three diamond tools. So what about a basic tool quality upgrade? All right, well, that's only an iron shovel, an iron pickaxe, and an iron axe. And what's a basic enchanted tools? It's one enchanted book with fortune one and three iron ingots. Well, okay, let's see if we can make these. Right, so we're definitely gonna need some iron, I think, to make the first stage of the quality tools upgrade. So let's see, got 59 ingots in here. Let's pour out some blocks. Now, just to explain, with the tools upgrade, when I put this into a quarry, the basic tool upgrade, which is the iron tools, lets me harvest as if my quarry had an iron pickaxe. The second one lets me harvest as if I had a diamond pickaxe. And the third lets me harvest any breakable block. That's a pretty powerful upgrade. Now I'm gonna need some, some a, lot, a lot more diamonds if I'm to get the diamond upgrades. And I'm gonna need a whole bunch of iron to get the iron upgrades. Now, getting this many diamonds, that's count. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven diamonds if I wanna get this upgrade. So let's check my pack. See if I've got any diamonds in my golden bag of holding. No, I don't. Now, do I have any diamonds lying around? Let's have a search in the house. I haven't been back to the house for a long time. Right, so I think what we might have to do is we might have to use the quarry to actually get what we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Simon another really big quarry to work. How do we make a quarry? Pretty simple. Iron, iron pick, wooden gears, wood and uh, a chest. Probably got all that right here. Hey presto, another quarry. Right, and we're gonna need a big bounds upgrade for the quarry. Now we're gonna make the mother of all quarries. We're gonna make the biggest dig hole Simon has ever dug. Now for a large quarry upgrade, all we need is two iron ingots, three pieces of wood, and four fences. Wow, that's insanely cheap. Wow, a 64 upgrade to a quarry. Now we're gonna also need the iron tools upgrade, so let's do that. Kablamo, an iron pick. Now we also need an iron shovel, I think, and to finish it off, an iron axe. Kablam! Now when we put those across the top, I'm not sure what the order is. Is it this? That way? What about like that? Like, like this? There we go, a basic tool quality upgrade. And that's the best way we can start our quarry. In fact, you know what? I think Simon himself might need a little help with this quarry, so we're gonna go and enlist the aid of another NPC. But I tell you what, since we've already got three of these jokers hard at work on the log sites, on, on, the, on the lumberjacking, why don't we just borrow one of these dudes to help out Simon? And of course, there is one dude in particular who is well known for working really well with Honeydew, and that is Lewis himself. So we're gonna give Lewis a pickaxe instead of a normal axe, and he can get to work helping him out at the dig site. So we're gonna need a, a pickaxe for him to change his role. Just an iron one should do. And now let's step to it. Right, there we go. And I'm gonna put this quarry, I think, probably about here's a good place. Yeah, perfect. Now we're gonna use the mega quarry upgrade. Blam, whoa. And did I put the tools in there as well? I think I put the upgrade, the tools upgrade in there as well. Now here's the bounds, right? That little blue block is this tiny little quarry block and the black block is how big it's gonna dig. So let's just spam this. Oh, whoa, it's gonna be huge. This is gonna be the mega quarry. And what we can do is we can just put like a, a layer of like two dirt on top of this and we can turn this whole dig site into the site where we build our castle eventually. Man, this is gonna be huge. Look at the size of this. And now let's just put the quarry block pretty much in the middle, give or take. Yeah, that looks pretty much middle to me. And oh my God, look how big this quarry is gonna be. It's gonna go as far as this white line stretches and it stretches like all the way over here and stops here and it comes out here. Oh man, this thing's gonna be huge. And it comes all the way over here. And where, where does it stop this way? Over here, right, wow. Oh, look at where the quarry block is, right the way over there. This is gonna be the ultra biggest ever quarry I've ever built. Oh man, I can't wait to get this, get this in motion.
Right, so we're going to need another quality tools upgrade for the hole that we've got for Simon to finish digging. And then once that's happened, we can get Simon and Lewis to work on the same quarry, I think, to double the production speed. Right, there we go. And if I can remember the, the pattern, it's pickaxe first. There we go, basic tool upgrade. Now we've got the extra pickaxe to give to Lewis. In fact, let's go and grab Lewis. It's getting dark though, I might have to sleep soon. Hey Lewis, how's it going? Are you enjoying being a lumberjack? No, you're not. Oh, that's good because guess what? We've got more oak than we can ever use. So you're gonna get upgraded from a lumberjack to, that's right, a diggy diggy hole dude. Oh yeah. Now, stop it. Stop doing it. What are you doing? He's got a work order. All oh, right, he's doing this because he's got a work order. Let's just get rid of that. And he's gonna come away from the lumberjacking and now he's got a pickaxe. He's gonna go straight to the quarry and start, start a quarrying. Now, which one is he gonna use? Oh, he started with this one. Now, we gotta be careful because we might, we might fall in his dig hole. In fact, Lewis, that's a really dangerous place to stand, you know, because that's actually where that's actually where the hole's gonna be. So you're gonna, you're gonna fall in, my friend. All right, tell you what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to put the other tools upgrade into this quarry, like that. We're gonna have to tell Simon that he's got more work to be doing. Oh, what's wrong with these guys? Why are they so stuck? You, you okay, guys? Oh, that's weird. I, I can't get through the door. What's going on? It's like an invisible wall here. That is weird. Tell you what, let's break the door. And there we go, that seems to have fixed it. Now let's break this door. There you go, guys, you can come out now. Whew, that was a close one. And let's just plop these doors down, this side as well. There we go, that's fixed it. Everybody's getting back to work. That's right, now let's see if Simon's actually digging these bits. Is it working? Yes, oh yeah, it is. Sweet, so the tool upgrade has worked. Now, as soon as Simon is finished digging here, I think what he'll do is he'll try and go over to help Lewis. If he doesn't though, we'll just break this quarry and make sure he does. Right, now that that's working, we're gonna have to tell Benji that he's got one more order to pick up on his rounds. Hey Benji, stop. Give me your routing order. And now we're going to add to the routing order. With the Z key, we're gonna give you Lewis's quarry too. We're going to right click on the routing order and we're going to move the quarry at the end up so that it's right after the other quarry. So that's 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and it should be 7 that we want. 7. So right after he's gone to Simon's quarry, which is right here, he goes to the other quarry and he also says, I'm going to take from the up slot, I'm going to take everything that doesn't match what's here which is nothing, so everything that isn't nothing, which is everything, bizarrely enough. And then he's going to move on to the warehouse and do the rest of his stuff. Right, so where's Benji gone? Oh, he's a bit lost without his routing order. All right, lad. Where's the routing order? That's the routing order. Put the work order back in the, um, back in the warehouse, I think. There we go. Oh, there's a big block of gold in there, actually. We could start making a large amount of troops. In fact, I think I might try and do that soon. Right, so we've got lots and lots of, I'm gonna put some bone meal and some mushrooms in here, actually, and get rid of some of this stuff. It's got a whole lot of stuff we don't really need. Upkeep orders, ugh. Don't need the torque shafts either for the moment, or the dirt, get rid of the sticks. And the iron axe too. Wait, no, actually, before we cover clothes, I'm gonna get a, oh, what's this? Can't put the tool in there? Is that, oh no, it has worked, there we go. Now I'm gonna see what kind of, uh, what kind of chunk loaders we can get. Now there's a deluxe chunk loader, and a simple chunk loader, but there should also be a quarry chunk loader. So where is the quarry chunk loader? If I can't find it here, I might have to type in the search. So, chunk. This should get me all the chunk loaders. So here we go. A simple chunk loader, a deluxe chunk loader, a basic chunk loader upgrade, and a quarry chunk loader upgrade. Now that's probably what we want. So we need iron ingots and a deluxe chunk loader. To get a deluxe chunk loader, we need obsidian and an ender pearl. No way, all right. Well, we can get obsidian easy enough with our hammer or our pickaxe, I think. But what we're going to have trouble with is the ender pearl. Now, have I got any ender pearls in here? No, I don't see any. Oh, they're super rare. How can we make an ender pearl? We can use ender pearl powder. 
which is something that's really common down way below. Ender fragments from Ender Zoo by killing basically, I think, ender creepers or concussion creepers. Ender dust, which we can also find down in the hole, way down in the hole. Meteorite ingots, which I don't know how we make. Well, okay, that's simple enough. We can use ender pearl shards from Grimoires of Gaia. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm pretty sure I had some of that dust because when I went mining, I picked up a load. But I don't see any in here. Let's have a look. Let's have a closer look for it. Nope, we're totally out of luck. We've got an emerald, we've got some alderite, and we've got a whole set of Viroxeries armor, but what we don't have is any of that ender stuff. So I'm going to go deep down into the holes now, and back into the mines, and see if I can dig up some more ender dust. Now, this is quite frustrating, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty, pretty sure that at some point I've gone down and I've mined a load, but the problem is every time we upgrade Ancient Warfare, I lose all of my custom non- vanilla and non-ancient warfare blocks from the warehouse. It's a bit of a pain, but I guess it'll get fixed pretty soon. Oh man, what's this? A handful of worms? Ugh! Get away! I don't want worms. Oh man, that's gross. I didn't know those were in the mod. All right, let's keep going. Actually, do you know what? What am I even doing? Why am I jumping down here when I can jump into Simon's hole and just wing it down there? I've got like enough dirt to nerd pull my way back up, so I should be A-OK. -okay. And I don't need to worry about removing the nerd pole because, hey what, guess what, Simon will dig it up for me. Oh, what a champ. Right, now, can we actually jump down? Oh no, he's dug really far down now. It's going to make this really tricky. Okay, let's just jump from hole to hole. Have we got any food? Ooh, some aluminium here. Alright, there's a hole, let's jump to that. Ooh, yes, made it. Oh, and there's like some makeshift stairs here as well. And what's this, a tunnel down? Oh, nice, and it loops around. Perfect, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. That green kind of substance over there is the ender dust. So let's just grab it up. Now I think Simon himself would actually dig this up with his iron pick. Yeah, he would, because I can dig it with my iron pick. So I don't actually really need to do this, but I want the ender pearls now, and not in 10 minutes. So I pretty much probably do have to do this. Okay, let's do it. Now, luckily enough, this ender, this ender dust is a really good source of ender pearls, so I don't mind too much. Oh, what's that? Oh, right, yeah, I've got to be careful because it spawns endermen. Luckily, he fell down into the hole, I think, so... What is that red stuff down there? Oh, right, it's redstone covered in basalt. Oh, there's some frosty stuff over there, some snow. I think that's where you get, like, dinosaur bones and stuff. Right, so I've got, let's see, 31 ender dust, and it's used for making... That's right, ender pearl. So it's four per ender pearl. So this is plenty to get making a chunk loader. Let's do it. Oh, but what I'm also going to need is some obsidian. So I'm going to get my buckets and see if I can find some water and then make myself. Uh, oh, oh, whoops. Better be careful here. It's going to jump over here. Oh, there's a nice green mushroom here. Isn't that pretty? Right, so it's operation. Oh, there's some obsidian, but I need to block off this lava if I want to get it. I also need some water, so let's see if I can find some water. Oh, hey, here it is. Just the stuff. So now let's pour the water on the lava, get some obsidian. Splash them around. That should do a bit. There we go. That hiss is what we're looking for. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Jump in, use the water as a cushion. Oh, perfect. And now we'll just splash some more around, make even more obsidian. Oh no, it's going to get really dark in here. Oh yeah, there it goes. Just, that's the problem when you kind of fill in water, uh, fill in lava with water, you take out all the light in the room. Oh yeah, loads of obsidian down here. Let's get some. Now luckily enough, my, uh, my steel hammer does work. Oh, look at that on the tooltip. It even shows you a progress percentage. 60%, 70%. 80%. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't even see that before. That's really useful. Oh, no! Quick, put it out, put it out! Whew. Oh, my God, that was close. Okay, and that is the danger of farming obsidian. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig out underneath this now and just make sure we get all of that lava turned into obsidian so we don't kill ourselves again. Holy crap. Now, this is only a short-term problem because as soon as I give Simon... Uh, the, the ultimate quality tools upgrade, he'll be able to dig obsidian. In fact, even with a diamond pickaxe, he'll be able to dig obsidian. 
There we go. Eight obsidian is plenty for what my, for what I need to do. So let's just get top side and oh god, it's, it's, it's dark, so I'm gonna have a sleep. Oh god, now we've got to be careful here because if we try and dig up here, Simon could break the blocks that we're trying to nerd pole up. Yeah, in fact, he's doing it right now. This is gonna be quite dangerous. Oh no, it looks like he is mostly ignoring it. Maybe because he's already dug it, or maybe because he knows that we're using a nerd pole. Oh man, Simon's pretty smart. Oh, we're almost there. Living on a prayer. Right, here we go. And we're out of the hole. Hey, Simon, how's it going? Right, so let's get back to chunk loader building. Now, we needed ender pearls, which is why we got the dust. So we should have everything that we need now. Obsidian and ender pearls. Seven ender pearls, sweet. Oh, we're gonna be dripping in ender pearls actually by the end of this. Just absolutely loaded. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight obsidian around one ender pearl. So let's do that. Got just enough obsidian for that. It's pretty lucky. Bam! Wait, what? An ender void chest? No, that's not what we're trying to make. We're trying to make a deluxe chunk loader, and that's with an ender pearl in the middle and obsidian around the edge. But it looks like when we try and make it. Oh, have we done the research for it? Let's take a look. All oh, right, for a deluxe chunk loader, we need to learn machinery. Now, let's see if we've learned that. Well, machinery isn't here, so we've already learned machinery. That means because the mod, there's, there's two, because you can make a void chest for railcraft, that's trumping the, uh, the chunk loader, and it's trying to make us make a chunk loader instead of what we want to make, which is the, um, it's trying to make us make a, a void chest instead of the chunk loader. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw eight obsidian in the hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to throw the ender pearl in the hole. We're going to get rid of that, and we're just going to spawn in the chunk loader because the game doesn't quite let us make it. So we go to cheat mode. And blam, a deluxe chunk loader. There we go, because it's the only way I could do it. Right, so now we have our chunk loader. How do we make this a quarry upgrade? We use just four bits of iron. No sweat. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's just move that one around a bit. And bam! A quarry chunk loader upgrade. Now let's put this in the mega quarry. Now let's take a look at the mega quarry up uh, progress, actually. It looks like Lewis has made a start on it, but it's only gone... Oh, it's it's gotten quite big, actually, but it doesn't dig out this top layer of dirt. That's a bit frustrating, actually, because we're going to be left with, like, a big layer of, like, um, of dirt. What I might do, actually, uh, is, is move this up one level. Yeah, I think I'll do that, actually, so it digs for us. So we're going to break the quarry. We'll get all the stuff back, so that's okay. Even the tools upgrade. And let's see, if I put the quarry on this level, it will dig absolutely everything. So here we go. The quarry. The 64 bounds upgrade, the tools upgrade, and the chunk loader upgrade. And now we set the bounds and we just make this a huge quarry. Now we're gonna have to fix Benji's route as well for this, but that can be done in, in no time at all. And there we go. Both of the quarries are locked and loaded. Now Lewis and Honeydew are working on this one. But as soon as this, oh, I think this has got down to the bottom now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this quarry because we don't no longer have a use for it. Now we've got the tools upgrade and the quarry upgrade. Oh god, Benji, no, just don't, don't do it. Right, we'll take the routing order from Benji and we'll tell him to go over here instead now. So let's see, if we just delete point 0.6, what we'll do is we'll add point 0.14 there and we're going to delete point 0.6 and 7. So go up with the quarry. That's looking at dirt, which we don't want. So remove the dirt and remove tile air name and keep the quarry up and take non-matching and that should be what we need to give Benji let's do it there you go my son and he's off all right sweet and these guys are working hard on their new quarry except Simon who's a little bit confused he's got a work order though which is probably why he's a bit confused now he knows what he's doing though sweet and these guys are gonna get hard at work digging out this quarry oh it's gonna be huge Right, so what else can I do for my workers? Well, I want to give them some cool costumes. But let's see what I can do. I'll just deposit a bunch of junk into here. Get rid of those worms. Oh, I've got worms in my pocket. 
and the tools upgrade, the bones, the ruby, the ender pearls, and the extra quarry we don't need either. Right, so what can we do? What can we build with leather? Let's see what kind of clothes we can make. Backpacks, a bit boring. Ah, oh, yeah, some leather jackets. A crane backpack. Some impregnated leather. Ooh, weird. A vampire dress jacket, if I got some woven crew. Some earmuffs. What do they do? Protection from mandrakes. Ah, oh, cool. Actually, what we should do is we should give some we should give some earmuffs to Lewis and Simon because they're working on a quarry, and a quarry is a loud place. So let's make them a couple of earmuffs. There we go, a couple of earmuffs, no worries. And now let's see what these guys look like sporting their new gear. There you go, Simon. And there you go, Lewis. Oh, man, it looks like headsets. They look like gamers now. Oh, that looks really cool. All right, cool. I might make earmuffs for everybody else, actually. That's a really cool idea. Protection from mandrakes and protection from loud noises like the quarry. All right, guys. Well, that's been Rule the World. And today we've kind of covered the upgrade section, quality tools. We didn't get into enchanted tools, but we don't really need that. Enchanted tools just makes it so you get more from your quarry but the quality tools means you can actually dig everything that's inside a quarry. And that's gonna be really useful for us, especially now that we have a quarry the size of 64 by 64. I can't wait to see what Simon and Lewis dig up by next episode, now that there's a chunk loader in there as well. So until next time guys, hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you for some more Rule the World. Take care.